What specific things makes you a Democrat? Guys, I really need this to be sent to Kevin Paffrath. I need you guys to just keep tagging him. I need you guys to do whatever. Because I need the answer to this. What makes Kevin Paffrath a Democrat? I, even from him, even if he can explain it, I need to know. Because nothing he supports sounds democratic. Like, what policies specifically are democratic policies he supports? Don't be like ending homelessness. Everyone wants to do that. Don't be like gay marriage. Congratulations. You support what 70 to 80 percent of Americans support. What? One more time. This is John Robert Drake running Democrat. for governor, California. Guys, I really need this to be sent to Kevin Paffrath. I need you guys to just keep tagging him. I need you guys to do whatever. Because I need the answer to this. What makes Kevin Paffrath a Democrat? I, even from him... Even if he can explain it, I need to know, because nothing he supports sounds democratic. Like, what policies specifically are democratic policies he supports? Don't be like ending homelessness. Everyone wants to do that. Don't be like gay... Uh, yeah, no, even those uh, ending homelessness. So, Kevin Paff, Rath's plan to end homelessness is to get out the National Guard, to get out the troops, to call out the troops to get martial law, to round them up into little concentration camps, to find old abandoned malls, and he wants to identify any different spots to old abandoned malls and shit and round the, all the homeless up and get them off the streets. But he very much sounds like he is a... You're right. When um, John Robert Drake asked, why is he a Democrat? Because you would assume that if you're a Democrat, you're a liberal, you're a progressive, you're on the left, right? You're some kind of lefty. If you're a conservative Democrat, then I think you're, you're kind of lost, right? If you're a conservative Democrat, the, the Republicans were the conservatives, so you have, you know, you left the Democratic Party a long time ago. So this is a legitimate question. It's a real honest question because Kevin Pathrath is a stock market broker, so he's a Wall Street guy. Kevin Pathrath is a Wall Street guy, and he's a landlord, so that's, you know, the capitalist class. He is not talking about any, you know, like the socialized medicine, you know, uh, universal health care. He's not talking about building homes for the uh, homeless. He's not talking about any, you know, actual, like, bread and butter issues, meat and potato issues, and solving it. Got a bunch of sick, build hospitals, right? You got a pandemic, make sure you get universal health care. Got a bunch of people without any homes, you got poor people, make sure you have, you know, money in their pockets and make sure they have all the opportunities in the world. So the question to Kevin Pathrath is good. Why are you a Democrat, motherfucker? Why the fuck are you a goddamn Democrat? He says he's a JFK kind of Democrat, meaning you're a right-wing fucking Republican piece of shit. I think he just knows the politics. He is a Republican. He's a, I think this is actually, this is such a brilliant question because it cuts right through the bullshit. It cuts right through the bullshit. John Robert Drake asked, hey, Kevin Pathrath, why are you a Democrat? Because we all know you're not. You're not a Democrat. We all know you're a right-wing Republican, capitalist, stock market, Wall Street guy, landlord. You're a right-winger. You're a right-wing conservative. You think you're being smart as shit by saying you're a JFK-style centrist. Branding yourself as a moderate is smart, but he is so fucking right-wing it's not even funny. What, we're going to get universal health care? We're going to get, you know, even Angel Lynn's homelessness plan is to let the people stay in the parks temporarily. That's more compassionate than Kevin Pathrath. Kevin Pathrath is essentially Larry Elder. He's a, a carbon copy. He's a shadow of Larry Elder. I wish, yeah, point out what are the progressive ideas. What are your progressive planks? Point out, you say you're a JFK-style centrist, you're going to try to say you're a moderate Democrat. Okay, that means you got some right-wing positions, right? Like your homelessness policy and your health care policy and a whole bunch of other fucking policies. But uh, let's, let's hear your liberal policies. Let's hear your progressive policies. Let's hear you're balanced, right? You're fair and balanced. You're not just totally Republican. You're not just totally right-wing. You don't have any liberal compassionate, there's nothing you have, your heart is in the environment, you don't care about animals or the environment or rocks, do you care about, you know, the earth, maybe you care about the earth, 
There's got to be something, right? Let's listen to this question again because it cuts right through the heart of the shit. Kevin Pathrath is not a Democrat, at least in terms of being a progressive or a liberal or a lefty or a socialist. He's none of those things. In fact, he's a capitalist, a Wall Street guy, a landlord who made his millions with the current system that's in place. Can we really change every fucking thing? I mean, he made his millions with the system that's in place. So really, it's you motherfuckers. You all just didn't use all the, you know, tools and gifts that you've been bequested that he was able to use. And so he's going to get in there like Biden. Nothing fundamentally is going to change. So he's a right winger. He's a right winger. Gay marriage. Congratulations. You support what 70 to 80 percent of Americans support. What specific things makes you a Democrat? Does Kevin Paff Rath actually support gay marriage? Because that's something that would be interesting to know. He actually supports something progressive. Okay, gay marriage, you know, touche. There's, you know, motherfuckers in Alabama that ain't there yet. Guys, I really need this to be sent to Kevin Paffrath. I need you guys to just keep tagging him. I need you guys to do whatever. Because I need the answer to this. What makes Kevin Paffrath a Democrat? I, even from him, even if he can explain it, I need to know. Because nothing he supports sounds democratic. Like what policies specifically? I like John Robert Drake's camera work. He kind of did that AOC thing. I don't know how, I guess you could just do like close-ups while you're sitting there recording it, close-ups, and so you can, you know, be real dramatic. I just want to know why Kevin Pathrath hasn't told us why he's a progressive. So, good camera work, John Robert Drake. I wish you would say, you know, just keep on tweeting, tweeting things. Keep on putting videos out. I think you're losing thousands of voters every fucking day that you don't say something to the people. At the very least, somebody will see your tweets and, you know, just uh, quote you. And just write it into their article, even if they don't say a goddamn word to you. And the dream of having a regular, average, working-class person occupy the throne of the chair of the governor of California? Holy fucking shit. That is a, you know, that the dream itself is exciting. And so, hell, maybe John Robert Drake actually has the momentum. Maybe he's got the momentum on his side. I'm, you know, not liking these other candidates that I... More, I'm liking David more and more. I like that David more, 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 more. So, there you go, Kevin Path, Rath. You got a question posed to you. Why in the goddamn flying fuck are you a Democrat? Name a single fucking progressive plank besides gay marriage that you actually fucking believe in. If you even believe in that. Name a single liberal, left, socialist kind of fucking thing. Why are you a Democrat? Because you think the Democrats are the conservatives or because you're just playing politics when actually in your heart of hearts you're a Republican. In your heart of hearts you're a Republican, but you're playing politics and you know that California is a Democrat state. And so you're playing politics, so you're playing pretend Democrat. You're a Dino, you're pretending for a second so you can trick others as the backup, but you're also pushing you know, yes on the recall. So you're not being a very good Democrat. You're being a terrible Democrat by pushing for yes on the recall. <laughs> but anyways, I doubt we'll get an answer, but there you go, Kevin.